Good evening and welcome to News on Prime TV. I'm Hassan Jia Lavala. First, we take a look at tonight's top stories. The president says that this is an era in which the country is being steered towards development. Court martial proceedings that have begun against Sarat Fonseca will continue tomorrow. One hundred thousand people from the south are reported to be visiting Jaffna during weekdays. And in news overseas, India says it is opposed to any sanction on Iran that would affect common people. So there is more stories in detail now. The president has stressed that this is an era in which the country is being steered towards massive development for the benefit of the younger generation. The president said that he has already stated that foodstuff will not be imported on credit. Tanks will be constructed and the farming community will be provided the necessary water and fertilizer at the concessionary rate of 350 rupees. They will be called upon to provide food for the country. His wish is to develop the country to make it a suitable place for the future generations. He said that he is prepared to go into any length to achieve this target. The president expressed these views while participating in a meeting held at the Matigat Raja Mahavihara in Angunukola Palace. The president recalled how the government focused on improving public service, agriculture and other areas at a time when massive operations were being carried out to defeat terrorism. Ministers Chaman Rajapaksha, Professor G.L. Piris and Mahinda Samarasingha along with UPFA candidates of the Hammantur district were amongst a large number of people who participated. The court-martial proceedings against retired army commander General Sarat Fonseca started at 9.30 a.m. Giving further details, military spokesman Major General Prasad Samrasingh has said that Sarat Fonseca appeared before the court martial. Uh, the first court martial appointed to try General Sarat Fonseca on charges against his participation in political work while in active service. Commence its sittings today at schedule at 9:30 at Navy headquarters. The court martial presided by uh, Major General H. L. Virutunga, and uh, they took up. Three charges separately under the above category in accordance with the provisions in the Army Act during hearing. General Fonseca appeared before the court with his lawyers. The lawyers were headed by Mr. Rian C. Asakulanathan, President Council, and also the Attorney General's Department representative appeared for the prosecution. The court martial uh, is to resume its uh, hearing again on the 6th of April 2010. Then the second court martial for four charges. It will commence tomorrow at 9.30 again at Naval Headquarters. Actually, these seven charges are pertaining only to his offences committed alleged during his military career. The European Union has stressed that it has no intention of harming the country as the EU has stood with Sri Lanka in good times and in bad. Quoting Bernard Savage, head of the EU delegation, which is to hold discussions with the Sri Lankan delegation, the Daily Mirror newspaper reported that the EU may reconsider the suspension of GSP plus trade concession. The discussions are being held in Brussels. He has said that the EU was conscious of the importance of the trade concession for Sri Lanka's economy. He has further said that the talks will lay the groundwork for a positive development on the extension of GSP plus and other issues. The two sides will discuss the commission report issued on Sri Lanka in December last year and where the two sides can reach a mutual agreement on the issues. He stressed that EU was mindful of the possible loss of employment if Sri Lanka lost the GSP plus facility. He had also said that the EU officials would make every effort to prevent the negative impact on Sri Lanka if the trade concession will be suspended. However, EU's economic, technical and educational and social assistance programs would continue uninterrupted. Financial activities that were confined to the cities will be initiated at the village level. Namal Rajapaksa said that measures have already been taken to develop the country by developing the villages. 
Namal Rajapaksa expressed satisfaction that financial institutions that were confined to Colombo and its suburbs have now been opened in remote areas such as Hambantota. He said that Hambantota area is witnessing massive development. He called upon the financial institutions and other investors to join hands with them and contribute for the development of the country. Namal Rajapaks expressed these views while inaugurating the Hambantota branch of the Merchant Credit of Sri Lanka Limited. It is the eighth branch of the organization. Namal Rajapaksa also inaugurated the financial transactions. Chairman of Merchant Credit Janaka Ratnaika and the officials of the organization participated in the event. The government is reported to be negotiating a 18 million US dollar concessionary loan with World Bank to be used in the tourism sector. It will be used to build technical capacity in the tourism sector, review laws and develop infrastructure to meet the increasing demand caused by the increase in tourist arrivals. $4.8 million out of the total amount of would be utilized to prepare and implement business plans of Tourism Development Authority, upgrade technical capacity and to carry out existing laws in relation to tourism. $1.8 million is expected to be used to improve tourism infrastructure in the East. Another $4.6 million is earmarked to assist in creating a business model for sustaining tourism. The project hopes to engage local communities and include them in the implementation of the process. Capacity in the tourism sector has to be increased as Sri Lanka will also be co-hosting the next Cricket World Cup. On more local stories, tourists numbering 100,000 are reported to be visiting Jaffna during weekdays and around 300,000 tourists during the weekend. The number of people visiting tourist attractions such as the Nallur Temple is on the increase contributing to the congestion in the city. The people in Jaffna are reported to be appreciating President Rajpaksa for creating such conditions in the area. They say that one has to visit the north to witness the duties fulfilled by the president on behalf of the country during the recent past. A new commuter transport service on canals has been launched. Our representative Sasanka Dais brings the following report. People travel by various means. They travel by public transport, they travel by private transport, or they travel by their own transport. Now this, or we are here to reveal you more details about a ferry service which is a unique concept of our very own Sri Lanka Navy. A program was launched yesterday to clean the canal ways in Colombo and use them for commuter transport under the concept of President Rajapaksha. The program has been carried out with the assistance of the Navy. As the preliminary step, the staff and students of the Open University at Navala will be transported on the canal. The special boat service is being operated from a location near St. Peter's College in Vallavatta on the vallavatta Kirulapana Canalway to the Open University at Navala. This ferry service which is provided by the Sri Lankan Navy is from 7.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. and from 4.00 p.m. to 6.00 p.m. daily. Now this aims to reduce the traffic congestion in Colombo. The duration of the boat service is 12 minutes. Commuters have to spend 45 minutes for the same journey on road. The boat service is free of charge while four boats have been deployed for this purpose. The Navy said that the boat service is being operated every morning from 7.30 to 8.30 and from 4 to 6 in the evening. We request you to enjoy this amazing experience which is provided by our very own Sri Lanka Navy. Ajit Dhammika and me, Sasanka Das, reporting from Colombo. Now we take a look at today's foreign exchange rates.